welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you, presenting this week's movie releases and mm -hmm. DVD releases. That's right. And also a chance to win uh, free movie tickets with the Picture Pairs game. And movie passes, tickets are essential because the prices are going up, Ed. They're going up. Is it all of them or just the 3D theaters? I don't know. I just heard they were going up. They said a dollar or something, so I have a feeling it's the uh, 3D theaters. That's not right. Not for 3D. I haven't seen the 3D film in I don't know how long. Even you though they keep coming out. You haven't seen one of the new 3D? Uh... Um, maybe I have, Ed. I don't know. It depends don't... on when this show is going to be aired. Did you see Clash of the Titans in 3D? Would you see it? No. Did you see it a couple of weeks ago when it was on the Turner Classic Movie? I did see the original. That, I did see that uh, bits and pieces of that, along with Jason and the uh, Argonauts and the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, starring John Philip Law. Uh, that was all on at that same. Uh, it was day. Ray Harryhausen night. Was it? A Friday night, yeah. A couple Who's weeks Ray ago. Harryhausen, Ed? He is the master of stop motion animation. The master. Need we say more? No. No. And we won't. <laughs> I only saw the end of that. And thank God for Turner Classic Movies because they did show the brief backle and sidle nudity that was oh, included in Clash of the Titans. Day. For a PG film. A yeah. Little, a little backle. Getting out of the uh, tub there? The ceremonial tub at the end yes. before she's being served up to the Kraken. Oh, he was going to crack in her. <laughs> 1981, that was that film. Mm -hmm. We were youngins. And that kind of backle was exciting. <laughs> it was. Oh, yeah. And a little side boob. I think I saw that at the Fox Theater on Wolf Road. Remember that? I do remember that. I do. Uh, and it was sad. They split it toward the end of its run. And I think one side had Friday the 13th, 3 in 3D, and the other side had Kenny Rogers in the, the six pack. This was a <laughs> where, six pack. Where he was the race car driver who was uh, saddled with six kids. <laughs> remember. Now, Kenny Rogers only stars in Asian films. <laughs> oh, it's sad. It Such a strong male feature is on him, and then he, he turned into a woman with a beard. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I'm Kenny Rogers. <laughs> oh, the poor man. Him and uh, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> yeah, another that's pretty, man, that's, woman. That's pretty, why do you have to become a woman when you're trying to get rid of your wrinkles? <laughs> well, how far do you go? I don't know. He can, see, I think he can open a can with that nose. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Anyway, hey, I have something. Okay. I want to see if you recognize. This voice, Ed. All right. Pardon me, I have to take off my microphone. Okay, you have it on your uh, laptop. Do you as recognize it were. this voice, Ed? The governor's higher education legacy has been one of stripping resources. How the from computer? Our <laughs> colleges from 2001. Depriving New Yorkers of the opportunities to learn and putting the padlock on the door of those universities to many segments of our population. It's the voice of Kit from the reboot of Knight Rider. <laughs> Could be. Who, who is it, Dave? That's, uh, for those of you not in New York, that's our Senate Majority Leader, mm. Sheldon Silver, who's a kind of a, you know, a cross between, if you looked at him, Deputy Dog and Eeyore, uh, the way he talks. That's the guy that basically is running our state. Not Patterson? <laughs> no, Patterson. <laughs> God, we've... Can you imagine those two talking back and forth? And uh, be... Sheldon Silver is something else, though. I mean, they just did their... They were going back and forth with the budget, and then... We've decided that we're going to reinstate some of the cuts that the governor has put in to education, and we're going to borrow $2 billion. <laughs> I have a stick up my butt. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. That's Sheldon Silver. That's, mm. our, that's our guy. This is, this is our government, Ed. This guy's been there forever. Now let me ask you this. Yeah? Do you know who Eric Massa is? <laughs> I heard of the name, but it, it escapes me at the moment. Eric Dave. Massa. Another one of our fine uh, people in the government of New York. Yeah. Congressman forced to resign some time ago because uh -huh. he was a tickler. <laughs> <laughs> a tickler. A French one? Not the <laughs> <laughs> Don't get him confused with Don't get him confused with the tingler. Oh no. <laughs> He's the tickler. Vincent Price. 
The tickler. He was a uh, congressman. He resigned. From New York? Yes. I didn't know it was New York. It was New York because, you know, we, we don't have enough controversy. Spitzer and Patterson and Charles Rangel and, and Eric Massa. He had a 50th birthday party. Okay. And he was involved in tickling <laughs> other men. Oh. Which he said was okay because, you know, that's what guys do. We do these things. We tickle. It was a fun little 50... 50th birthday party, that's what guys do. And apparently he said he used inappropriate language with some of his other, his staff, and that's why he resigned. Then he said he resigned because he had a recurrence of cancer. Then he said he resigned because the other party has it out for him because he won't play uh, party politics. And then he tickled men. <laughs> They were all over 18, though, weren't they? They were, but... Well, why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> well, you know, he as long as they're over 18. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want your representatives groping <laughs> other men, tickling other men and admitting to it and saying it's no big deal? <laughs> I guess not. You know, he says he's married, which is, you know, I'm sure he is, but something's not right with this guy. You're tickling other men. He says he groped them. He groped. He used the term grope. Yeah. <laughs> if that's only all that the priest did, though, that would be uh, that would have helped a lot of people out. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the, that poor, could be. the poor pope, well, is in trouble. Did you? But now, <laughs> did you also know <laughs> he he wasn't tickling though? That NASA claimed to have a <coughs> naked encounter with Rahm Emanuel, one of Obama's uh, cabinet members, because uh, he was in the shower and they were naked and they were he was, Rahm Emanuel was complaining. To Massa because he wasn't playing ball with mm. the party. Mm -hmm. N no pun intended. <laughs> but in the shower. Uh, in the shower. It was a naked encounter. Mm -hmm. Also, one more thing I'll mention about Eric Massa. Okay. He was a naval officer. Mm -hmm. um, and Does this involve semen? <laughs> <laughs> snorkeling. That was the other. Who was snorkeling? That was another, that was another thing that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the one that was involved with this story? I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, you kind of caught me off guard with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that producer? I did hear somebody. Yeah. It was him. Yes. Okay. Wait, who, Massa? I, I think it was. But did you know that he used to give massages to his fellow naval officers? No. Because they were tensed up. He would give them massages, <laughs> and he named the massages <laughs> Massa Massages. Oh, yeah. Why would you name it? So people can remember it? Yeah. You're the guy that gives the massage? There's something wrong with this guy. I think because of the snorkeling, I think that's what was going what, on. What, what's this with the snorkeling? What I think that's doing? like a bandit mask where <laughs> certain parts of the anatomy are placed over your eyes. Like the wrong... <laughs> 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 they call it a... Like, <laughs> like a Roman soldier helmet where they put the, the, yeah. the round things here and the other thing is like the nose plate. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, God. It's a good thing he doesn't like tea. <laughs> well, you don't want no tea bags. God. Okay, uh, snorkeling. I did, I did, I, you learn something. You learn something new here at the, the media zone. You do. We, that's why we changed the name. We cover all kinds of media. Oh, oh, Everything boy. in the news. <laughs> to what? snorkeling to massive massages. Massive massages. I just, it just struck me. Is what, what, is, what else could possibly... <laughs> New York, what is wrong with you and the elected officials? I don't understand this. Spitzer with the, with, with the, with the hose. Yeah. Patterson with his illegal doings. Uh, massive massages. Huh? Snorkeling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this. What else could possibly? Remember the guy away? who was tapping his foot under the stool? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> At least yeah, that yeah. was in New York. Right, it wasn't New York. I don't know where that one was. So I just don't understand yeah. this. And then the, the one guy who's not involved in this talks like Eeyore mm -hmm. because the governor's budget is unacceptable. <sighs> it's deputy talk. <laughs> oh, I just, I, 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 sometimes the politicians in this state. Well, not sometimes, all the time. It's pretty bad. But it's just the, the things that they do just mm. just never cease to amaze me. Mm. But we're a movie show. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. Oh. Got to cover all the, the, the subjects. That's right, we do. <laughs> something, when something strikes our fancy head, mm -hmm. we feel compelled to discuss sure, it. Sure, why not? Yeah. Plenty of time here. That's right. So, uh, we have three films tonight. What is first, Ed? Would it be death at a funeral? What is first? Is it kick-ass? Okay, it's kick-ass. I'll sit back then.